one very frequent interview question is around resource tags in AWS so it's a very frequently asked question is how do you manage resource tags in AWS the other way could be uh, have you worked on AWS or cloud cost optimization so you will drive the direction towards the resource tags so the subsequent question could be how do you do that so the answer is uh, using something called AWS organizations we have seen in some other videos on our channel that uh, that how an organization manages different AWS accounts is very different from how we as an individual manage so we don't in, in any large organization we don't provide our credit card details for every AWS account so it's meant it's uh, something like a master account and then different accounts get created that creates a bit of sort of organization over there so just you know to keep the context uh, to resource tags so there are two ways we can use tagging policies or you can we can use SCP policies let's quickly take a look at how these two are implemented so here we have uh, sort of organization configured so we can go to within the AWS organization we can go to tagging policies enable the tagging policy this is the policy that I have created I can simply go and create a policy or edit any existing policy and there is an easy way to create this policy it's it's not that difficult or you don't really have to learn any syntax for this you have a visual editor for a tagging policy you specify what tags are mandatory typically name of the resource owner of the resource project environment are typically used uh, tag so we say tag name and to what kind of resources is this going to apply is it going to apply to instances snapshots volumes etc and similarly I have environment key which resources it would apply to so I just specify these in a visual sort of uh, editor and it creates a, a JSON as an outcome and once I have the tagging policy I can specify what targets it it will and then I can attach different organization unit or OUs uh, within that so I can specify any of these the other way the second way is that there are something called SCP policies so we go to so just about tagging policies there are SCPs those are also enabled but as of now I don't have any tagging policy enabled so I can go and create a policy but this one is not very straightforward so this is this this is specifically we need to uh, create that uh, tagging policy and there are specific syntaxes for that and just like uh, bucket policies uh, the tagging policies has to be created and then that gets applied automatically to the OU that we are managing so if we apply policy here and the policy is enabled then that tagging policy automatically gets applied to the organization so these are the two prominently used ways how we manage tags and there are a few other ways like through AWS service catalog or some other procedures you can enforce tags but not frequently used these are the two mainly uh, main answers that should get you enough points in any interview or discussion thanks bye